view from the CTV Skywatch camera. We got some cloud out there and it's feeling a little sticky. 23 degrees is where we're at right now. Our daytime high was 25. We hit that at 2 p.m. and 11 degrees was our low at 6 a.m. Our humidity level is bumped up just enough that the Humidex value just an hour ago was just approaching 30 degrees. We have a northeasterly wind now and as I was saying before about the explanation about thunderstorm activity, that cooler air aloft is what really triggers those thunder cells and we have it at the surface right now. Up top we have a northwesterly flow so things are uh, potentially going to be happening tonight in terms of thunder cell and thundercloud activity but you see all the temperatures all over here. We've got some cooler air already being pulled down and cooling down the temperature value so expect all these numbers to drop within the next hour or so as that northerly component continues. We've got this uh, it's low pressure, but it's not from a system that has developed anywhere except along the continental divide. Now, having said that, today we do have a little bit of, of uh, input from a weak low pressure center in BC that's creating a, and adding a little bit of instability to the mix. But these cells are developing along the continental divide and then pushing off. We've seen this pattern since the weekend, actually, uh, since uh, late Sunday into Monday and specifically Monday night. So these cells will continue to push off. That's why we have warnings and watches out for thunderstorm activity today as we did yesterday as well and the day before. And it really is due to the fact that we have northerly air from systems from the north pushing down that cooler air mass. We've got systems developing below the uh, 49th parallel and that moist air is what is coming north. So those two air masses collide and then you've got thunder cell development. 21 degrees. We've got some shower activity in St. John's right now. Uh, we've got shower activity through the Maritimes. There are watches out for severe thunderstorm activity in parts of New Brunswick. Through southern Ontario and southern Quebec, temperatures uh, pretty stable for the next couple of days. No humidity uh, elevated elevations to uh, talk about there. So the numbers you see is pretty much what, what it feels like. 21 degrees in Winnipeg, they could see a thunderstorm tonight, as well as Regina. We've got 20 degrees in Edmonton. A sun and cloud mix on the coast. Sun and cloud up north in Yellowknife and Whitehorse as well. Pretty much uh, just a sun and cloud mix is what they've had throughout the day. East Kootenai, you're looking at a low of 14 degrees tonight, 32 for a daytime high tomorrow. You too have a chance of a thunder shower tonight. Crow's Nest Pass, we're looking at that chance of thunder shower activity tonight, 13 for a low, 26 for a high tomorrow, and a sun and cloud mix. Medicine Hat, chance of thunder shower activity tonight. All these areas are in watch uh, criteria right now for thunderstorms, and you have a chance of a late day one tomorrow in Medicine Hat. For Lethbridge, chance of a thunder shower tonight, 13 for a low, 25. Sun and cloud mix for the bulk of the day as we uh, get into tomorrow, though. So for the next few days, our temperatures uh, fairly warm as we head into the weekend, even uh, looking at very moderate temperatures. Uh, average for us for this time of year is right around 26 degrees. So these are very comfortable numbers for the weekend, and uh, we don't have any precipitation to talk about for the weekend so far. But this is Wednesday, and things can change, as we know. So we'll keep tracking uh, any developing situations.